Alright guys, what's up? This is Tony. Um, they said they don't have a loader today. So I guess I'm the loader. Oh, See how I backed the trailer right here to the edge of this? It's Saturday, so I guess they don't have someone working here. But I gotta get 70 bales put in there. And we gotta go put it out, so let's get to it. Unfortunately, it's like way up there too, so. Alright guys, I'm about to pull this down mountain here. Stack these 40 up and then keep going on and on. of them. Okay, I didn't drop none. So we need 30 more. I'll be able to fit that easy. I mean, I could put 100 in there, I think. 100 bales, maybe more than that. So I'm surprised, even though it's just a 6x12. So, but it seems to fit a lot in there. So, anyway, let's get 30 more. guys what's up um so loaded up and uh let's 
great. Um, one thing I do like about putting stuff like that, debris and whatever, in an enclosed trailer, is that you don't have to worry about it falling off and those kind of things. So that is a good thing about. Well, and um, free yourself. Sorry. That is a good thing about putting debris in your enclosed trailer. So. Um, so it does work. You know, I'll just blow it out when I get done. Not a big deal. You know, it does get a little dirty, but. You know, hey, at least I don't have to worry about falling off. You know, now I can, you know, I got to drive 10, 12 miles over to the job site. And uh, I can drive over there with, you know, no worries at all. So, so even if those bales move around a little bit in there, who cares? So, so you can do, you know, clean up brush and all that. Even, you know, limbs and all that. Even with enclosed trailer. Because I do it done it for years and it does work it works fine I man it's getting hot it's so weird like it was snowing you know a day or two ago and then now you know today you know this morning it was like in the 20s and then it's just a little after lunch time right now and uh you know it's already it's already up 65 or something so that's great so I hope y'all are having a good day. Oh, and um, the first line of business over at this yard, what's coming next is uh, uh, the there's like you know we're gonna put straw all around the house and the beds and all that. Um, but right in front of the house, there's some uh, bark chips, and uh, he doesn't like the bark chips, so I gotta rake them up. That's why I have the wheelbarrow. I'm gonna rake them up and put them in the wheelbarrow, and uh, and bring them like there's like a little, a little small little area, little woods patch. Like I mean, it's the size of like a couple pickup trucks where like the property line and stuff is. And we're gonna spread out the bark chips there because he doesn't want them. And uh, I told him we were gonna do that. And he was fine with it. So that'll be the first thing we're gonna show here. So that's the part that uh i don't know about i mean i know it won't be that bad but i uh i don't know exactly how big it was but we gotta get that raked up first and then we'll put all the straw down so uh january you know it's not usually a lot of people will wait till the spring but i told them i could do it for a little cheaper if we do it now just to kind of get it out of the way for me and um so that's what i'm doing so it's working out saturday and uh, I'll end this rant or this uh, rambling right now. So, um, shout out to my man Blades of Grass Lawn Care in Savannah. Um, he does this straw all the time. So, buddy, I like your videos. Uh, he's a great guy. If y'all don't, I'm sure y'all already know about him. But if you don't, um, Go check them out. I'll leave the link in the description. So let's get to it. All right, guys. As you can see, pretty big area where the chips need to get picked up. But let's let's do it. Rake doesn't work because it's too heavy, too heavy for it, but shovel works good. So I think what I'm gonna do, like I just started raking it all like into a pile, scraping it like this, and then I'll just do that in a couple piles and then pick it up.
shout out to Acme Moen. Um, I believe that's how you say that. A-C-M-E. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. Um, his channel's just getting going, but uh, he watches all my videos. Great guy, so y'all go check him out. It's going to be a great year for all of us. So let's keep on strolling. pictures for the customer while we walk around but man this looks great I mean you know one one neighbor already came over and he he's here visiting relatives and he lives like a couple hours away I wonder if I come up to his house and do straw which obviously I won't but um, the straw quality is amazing so you know tuck the edges roll tuck the edges you can do it with any blower you've seen I did it with the BG 50 I mean you know this just looks awesome 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 it's one of my favorite pine straw jobs I've ever done um, and I think the reason why is because the customer got enough, paid me f to do enough straw that it was kind of thick, which will help me as the year goes on. And um, it just looks better. So, because it will settle down, it won't be as thick as this always, but, uh, you know. So this is kind of what we're dealing with down here. And uh, let's look at this. Like this. Now that we've done this draw, I mean, it's the best looking yard in the neighborhood. No doubt. No doubt. But, uh, man, it took me longer. It took me longer than I was hoping. 
That seems to be how a lot of things go in this business, but... Oh, man. And I'll be honest, dude, using that... <laughs> my arms are very tired from doing this. Because I did a few yards before I did this. And so, you know, it just uh, gets tired after a while, so... It's kind of the walk around, so... We'll see you later.